Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a cute, uh, chibi version of, uh, Shin Godzilla. Uh, it's going to be step by step. I'm going to be using this regular printing paper. And I'm going to be using this marker right here, a, a Crayola brand marker. You can use anything you want, by the way. Don't be limited by the supplies. Also, you can just kind of, like, watch. You don't have to, uh, you know, like, do everything with me or anything like that. But it would be nice if you follow along. So anyways, that's kind of it. Let's get into Shin Godzilla. So right off the top, I'm going to go line right there for the eyebrow. This is going to be a more cuter version, by the way, because, like, uh, you know, I did another version of Shin Godzilla on the channel. Go check that out. Yeah, that, that can be pretty cute as well, but this is going to be, you know, more cute-esque. Curve over here for the top of the head. Curve down. Well, not even curve. It's going to be along the back of the neck, back of the head there. Going forward. Down. And I'm going to do this. Give it like a zigzag over here because Shin Godzilla is the toothier, I believe. He's got like a, you know, very chompy mouth. Circle. Maybe got the finger thingy there, the finger thingy. And he's gonna have like a dot for an eye. That's one thing he always has. Gonna close off the teeth here. Also, don't forget, hit the subscribe button if you like, uh, you know, drawing kaijus, you like drawing, um, you know, like cute versions of stuff, cute characters, Among Us characters, any of that stuff, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification because the notification is what's actually gonna, you know, show you the video. Otherwise, I won't show you anything. Curve over here. Top teeth. And I'm also going to curve at the bottom here to make it look like, you know... That's not negative space, but that's, you know, the teeth. Alright. Over here. In. Down for the neck. Down here. And now we're gonna go into the cute part, okay? The cute part's gonna be in the chest area. I mean, not the chest area, but it's gonna be in the proportions. It's gonna have like squattier proportions. Curve here. It's got kind of like, almost like a chest plate on the front. It's really strange. Curve over here. For a squatty body. Big old leg over here, big old fat leg. Curve. Curve over here for the other side, the other leg. I'm going to go over here and draw his, his little hands go up like this. Like, ah, no, what's going on? You know, he's got these little bitty hands that kind of reach uh, either down like this, like Bell Lugosi, or up. Like, oh. So I'm going to do that. Curve here. Curve here. Curve here. Bela Lugosi, by the way, played the first Dracula, like the, in the 1950s. If you don't know who that is, Bela Lugosi hands. So, like, that's what I mean by Bela Lugosi hands. It's kind of like the downward Dracula. Right here, we're gonna draw the upward ones though. Right there. Over here, I'm gonna go on the far side as well. Hopefully, I'm having a good day, and hopefully, you like Godzilla movies. Um, I mean, that's why you're drawing this. I hope. We'll see, and they just have to be like little forks like that. It's not; they don't have to be super complicated. If you don't know how to draw hands, by the way, go check out my free. This is free for the first time in a long ever, actually. It's the hand drawing ebook, I believe. I have it over um, on my Gumroad, so go check out my Gumroad and go get that for free. I'm gonna put more, a lot more free stuff on that, so go check that out. Alrighty. I'll put the link in the description, of course. Curve over here. There's other big foot. Go over here for the lower body. Pull down here. And he's got these big old, like, you know, toes, essentially. 
right? They look like mittens, mitten toes. Pulling in here as well, down, and again, putting that those mitten toes here. Before I do this, bam, spike, spike, spike. Over here as well, bam, here, spike, spike. Alrighty, gotta draw like a curve line here, curve line here, curve line here, because he's kind of craggly, right? And we're gonna draw some of the red parts that he has. A lot of it he has in his neck here, so I can go like this. Draw maybe like a triangle there, and just start drawing like a line, line, line there. Over here, we draw some little chunks here to show kind of that that's kind of that red peeking through, but we're not actually going to draw the red. I mean, we're not going to paint the red in. And then I'm going to go over here to the spikes on his back. So, spikes on his back. Try to keep them a little rounder than normal because you want to keep it cute, right? Um, it looks like a leaf. I like to think of it like a leaf. Right? Kind of like a leaf. I, I always think of it in that shape. And again, keeping these rounder than normal. I know he's kind of sharp everywhere. He kind of reminds me of an Attack on Titan, the Godzilla. That's literally what I think of him as. He literally looks like, uh, like a, a Titan from that series. It's pretty crazy. Alright, so now you have these, you know, like, flowery little things on his back. But, you know, really this supposed to be his spikes. I'm going to draw two nostrils here for his nose. Right at the front of his nose there. Pulling in here for the chest plate. A curved line here for in, in, in the uh, middle of his body. And what you could do is you could draw kind of like... He's got like these kind of open scar things, you know, that show through the red. You kind of put them all over. Uh, that was really cool. Really, really... One of my favorite looking uh, versions of Godzilla. And then I got to draw a little crackliness around his eye, although it's going to look like eyelashes, oh well. Got a little craggliness around his eye, and I'm going to draw right here at the top, a little shape for the top of his head, and let's do the most important part, the tail. Come around the back here, and it's going to go up. I believe he has the longest proportional tail to his body than the other ones do. And it kind of ends at, the, at a ball or something like that. Going to draw curved lines here, kind of breaking up the tail a little bit, just, you know, drawing with the form. If you need to rewind and pause, definitely do that. Um, but I, like I said, I believe this version is cuter than my other version. Go check out the other version, it's more, uh, you know, more proportional, more realistic. Uh, you know, Shin Godzilla. And I'm going to draw a bunch of kaiju, so uh, give me suggestions in the comments and I will figure out how to do that. Um, but that is it. That is a cute version of, you know, Shin Godzilla. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, say say hi to me in the comments. That's a big thing. I love that because I'm, I'm pretty much a very... I connect with a lot of people on here and a lot of you guys. Um, and it's been great. Um, thank you. I will talk to you next time. That has been Shin Godzilla. Talk to you soon.